Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and that you're having a great day. If this is your first time here, let me introduce ourselves. My name is Dora. This little one here is Andromeda and today in the Diary of a Greek Mum, we're having a grocery haul to share. This is our Tesco delivery, it literally just got delivered and I'm going to explain everything about our meal plan, how I've grouped all of the items together, what we're planning on having and basically give you some food inspiration for your week and for your planning. So without further ado, let's get to the video. Right, so we're going to start from this end like we've done last time and we're going to go all the way to the other and we have Mocha today with us as company because I got the baby up to her bed now hence why it's a little bit quieter <laughs> but what I've done is I've grouped everything together in meals and I've kind of tried to group everything together as in what they are as well so we're going to start with this corner here and that would be the breakfast corner there are a couple of items on the other corner as well but um, I'm going to go through them soon so we got the candle sweetly with sucralose this is made particularly for drinks and i've decided to kind of cut down on my sugar intake i want to oh, try at least to get into the sweetener i used to use sweetener before and now they've made one that is particularly for drinks i said i'm going to give it a try they also do have one that is made for baking and i wanted to get that one too but they didn't have it in stock that's why you can't see it here the other thing you can see right behind it and we do love our bagels in this house the new york bakery the sesame ones we got two packs as you can see there's one on the back as well and this one too we do like our bagels we like our sesame bagels more than the normal ones and they are on offer right now for a pound i like having these with uh, some avocado which i was just about to go to so we got an avocado here we got a medium avocado i was thinking maybe of getting a large one but then i just changed my mind so we got a medium avocado and that's going to be with toasted bagels and possibly some ham and a runny egg on top for breakfast we got our bread and this is the finest white loaf i need to mention here that this was not my choice i got the farmhouse loaf because it's thickly sliced but they didn't have it in stock and they replaced it with this a six pint semi skim milk you've seen it on our previous haul and then also we got three of the semi-skimmed UHT milk and that's because when the weather is really bad I don't want to go out and I don't want to be taking the baby out so I prefer to have some of these in stock and whenever I need I've run out of this just put one of them in the fridge and I'll be fine these were in the previous haul as well they are some of the th some of those things are staples so you'll see them again and again the wafer thin smoked ham which I really like and the cream fields 10 miles uh, cheddar slices we always get two of these because my partner when he does his own toasties he doesn't like cheese so he pretty much uses one pack and i use the other with cheese and that would be the end like the group of breakfast along with that there are two items here i got my walker sprinkles which they're not exactly breakfast they're snacks that's why they're put over here and these are again the eggs that we're going to be using not just for breakfast but for baking as well and since i came to this corner i'm going to go quickly through this before i take you through the meals the group of the meals you've seen this on our previous haul as well we always get an after meal because it usually lasts the box usually lasts us about a week sometimes a little bit less but i do have i've just started a brand new box so i said instead of getting two i'll just get one this time uh, we got some self-raising flour. This is the stockwell that uh, Tesco does. It is from their rebranded everyday range and I always buy this. There's no point in buying anything else. Um, I will always go and buy the more affordable um, products that Tesco sells instead of buying um, others unless I want to give a try to something and that's why you will see these here too. I had a Fanta Zero in the previous haul and this time it's the Tesco Orange Zero which you've seen a box of these on the previous haul too 
but I bought them again because I quite like them and they have sweetener inside instead of anything else. So like I said, I'm trying to cut down on sugars and I said, this would be fine for me now. Then we go into these. We got two of the flame grilled beef burger rustlers. And the reason why is because we wanted to try these babies here straight away. <laughs> and I want to show you these guys because these are amazing if you don't know what reds is reds is a steakhouse it is one of the best steakhouses i've ever been in my life and they do sell their sauces outside they outsource them to tesco like nando's do in all of those places and we've been to reds we have a reds here in nottingham we've been to reds we love it and we wanted to have some of the sauces in the house. We got this time the dirty burger sauce because it's mild and it's perfect for me. And the buffalo wing sauce, which is medium heat for my partner. And that's why you can see the burgers in the back because we want to give them a try. And I know for a fact that once I've finished the filming here, we're going to be <laughs> getting those rustlers in the microwave and giving them a try with the sauces. Continuing on the snack front, you've seen the crinkles already and you've seen these in the previous haul as well. They're back seafood sticks, they're ready to eat. My partner loves them, we've got five packs this time. And along with that, these are completely irrelevant. They're fine beans. They were on a, well Tesco runs an offer right now, three for four pounds on some of the veg. And I got these as the extra because I got some asparagus that I'm gonna be showing you soon. We have some asparagus here and some asparagus here and they were all together in a three for four pounds they were pretty much free because the asparagus were two pounds per pack so i got these for free and i i went for the fine beans because i was thinking maybe we'll have a stir fry or we'll have uh, we'll see i'll see how i'm going to use them but they're going to be used i know for a fact i shouldn't have picked these up but they were on offer for 50p each and i said i want to cut down on my sugar intake but then i went and bought these i can't stop myself they are lovely when you have a coffee so i had to pick these up another thing they had on offer currently is their pilgrim's choice and pilgrim's choice is my favorite cheddar especially the extra mature it is the bomb it's the best this is the 550 gram um, pack and i got two because they're only 250 each so they're going to be grated they're going to be put on food they're going to be put in uh, toasties they're going to be put pretty much everywhere I love them and because they don't go bad I said we're going to get two packs and I'll just leave them in the fridge instead of going back to cathedral because I've seen that they kind of alternate the offers they will go to Pilgr Pilgrim's Choice first then they will give cathedral an offer then we'll go back to Pilgrim's Choice and I always make sure if I run out to get this hence why I got two packs this time I don't want to run out again and now I want to go through this and here which is all the meals again like the previous well grocery haul i explained that we don't plan for the whole week we plan for five days because most of the times we will either have a takeout at one day of the week or i'll end up eating we'll have too much uh, cooked and we'll end up basically eating the leftovers the next day so that's the reason why i only have five meals here and I'm going to quickly go through them. We've got some Growers Harvest Rice. This is the long grain rice. They're so dirt cheap for a whole kilo. I'm going to be making some stuffed peppers. And I'm going to be also stuffing these beef tomatoes. Now, if you've not done this before, I would heartily recommend it. They are the most amazing thing, especially if you're trying to get your kids to eat and they don't like peppers. Stuff two beef tomatoes or three or as many as you like they're gonna like them more because they're sweeter you kind of lose the crunch but a lot of the times that's another reason why kids don't eat them so i've got two of the beef tomatoes i know i'm going to be eating these because my partner doesn't like tomatoes the rice because i had run really really low and some flat leaf parsley that will go in the mince and mentioning that the mince is here but it's here because of another meal now i want to show you these this is another group for another meal and this is another group but both groups are from two recipes that i got from simply cook and i'm mentioning this because i want to film one of these two recipes whichever you like the most guys to show you and along to introduce simply cook now this is not advertised i got this box on my own it was 
I've seen it on another YouTuber, I really like the idea and I got one box to try it and I'm going to say that I'm quite impressed. So the two meals that we're going to be preparing are these, the Cuban prawn pasta and the Malai laksa, if that's how it's called, Malai laksa. So this is for the Cuban prawn pasta and we need a linguine for that, some of the jumbo king prawns and the reason why i got jumbo i didn't actually go the jumbo ones i had uh picked the cooked and peeled large ones that tesco does but they had run out of them so they replaced them with this some of the baby plum tomatoes for the recipe some asparagus a lime that you will need a splash at the end and double cream the recipe does say single cream, but I know how to make double cream into single, so that's why I got this, because I'm going to be using it in another one as well. And then we go into this, which is the Malai Laksa, which needs some diced chicken breast, some rice noodles, again a lime, again some asparagus, we do like our asparagus in this house, some butternut squash that is going to be cut in pieces, and some coconut milk. Now they are both relatively spicy apparently because they both have two out of three on the scale that simply cook has when it comes to spices so let me know guys would you like to see some prawn pasta would you like to see something different with chicken and butternut squash which is i'm gonna have to actually find out which country is this malai laksa from and i'm gonna insert it on the video to let you know and then after that you decide which one you would like filmed and leave it down on the comments so I know what you'd prefer to see. Then we're going into this end and we have our butcher's choice beef and pork mince and some Maris Piper potatoes along with some Tesco white breadcrumbs. Let me see if I can focus that. There we go. Oh, no. There we go. So the white breadcrumbs as well. Now the reason why I got these, you can actually see what's underneath. The reason why I got the breadcrumbs is because my partner asked for some Greek meatballs and I'm going to be doing Greek meatballs in red sauce along with some uh, roast potatoes in the oven. That's why these are all put together. Now we we do go for the beef and pork mince although it's 25 percent fat which is quite fatty but pretty much all of the traditional recipes that i have from my nan and the ones that i remember eating while growing up they were all a mix between beef and pork we never really did just one of the two and that's because you get the lovely flavors from both but also you get a little bit of fat and you can't have tasty food without a little bit of fat unfortunately you can't now 25 percent fat is quite a lot you can see that there it is quite a lot but we do drain the fat we know how to drain the fat so whenever we need to we will drain it but if it was 15 percent, i wouldn't even bother and then we have another pack of diced chicken breasts and the reason why we have these on their own here is because we're making some enchiladas and i had everything else for it now i believe i've shown you everything um yeah we've been through all of it before i go i want to talk to you a little bit about simply cook now I've said it when I was showing you all of the food that we ordered from Tesco. This is not an advertised video. I've not received anything from Simply Cook. I have literally purchased this box on my own. I've seen another YouTuber recommending these as a service and I wanted to give it a try. So I went online, I went to their site. I got quite impressed with all of the, the array of recipes that they have to offer and I decided to actually use their service. So what you get from their box, it's our box where you get the products coming in along with, so you make the whole meal from the get-go. You actually get the spices and the flavorings that you need. So you get a box like this one here, which is quite thin, as you can see, it's not something too thick. And along with that, you get four cards with the recipes that you have chosen. Now I went online and I have chosen the Cuban prawn pasta, like you've already seen and I've mentioned. Also the Malay, Malay, Malay laksa. I got another one that is Neonia. I don't know, I, I'm, I think I'm killing their names here. But yep, Neonia. 
and I also got the Vietnamese pork to try. So like you've seen, they come with the four cards. You get the recipe on the back. So you get the flavor pots that you need on the top, then the shopping list that you will need and all of the instructions. And what I really like is that you can cut the top part. Can you see that? You can cut the top part of the card and take it with you to the supermarket to make well to pick the items up straight away so i picked these four recipes and they do come with a welcome booklet as well that explains how the whole service works also the main the well another reason why i'm mentioning it is because i've been given a code because i've ordered a box and it is something that they mention on the back as well so when you refer a friend then you earn some rewards so I'm going to put a link down below in the description where you can click that link and go to their site and order a box like this one here for a pound. So you get to choose four meals and you get one box. Let me show you the inside of the box as well. So you get something like this with the four different recipes that you've decided to give it a try. I haven't tried one of those recipes yet. We will be making one today. Um, but I thought it's a brilliant idea. And if you can get a box for a pound, then why not? You straight away get four meals that you can prep that you like, that you've picked from their selection. And if you like it, it is quite a nice idea. I, I will decide if I'm gonna keep the subscription to them after I've tried at least two of the meals that we got and if i do then i'm going to keep it in a monthly service and i'm going to get a box every month but like i said you can get a box to give it a try for one pound if you click on that link that i'm going to put in the description below and if you do that and you do decide to get a box for the pound then automatically i'm going to get another free box as well so it's kind of like a win-win hence why like i mentioned again it's not advertised i've decided to get it from another youtuber and I want to give it a try. That's why I'm showing it to you guys. And that's why I'm going to share that link. So if you want to do it, then you'll give me a chance to get another box as well. And maybe try some more recipes. And then you'll get a chance to get uh, something for a pound and try four recipes as well. And that would be the end of this grocery haul video. I hope you really enjoyed this video. And if you did, then give it a thumbs up. Also, if this is your first time here, then... Don't forget to subscribe but i would love to have you as part of this community we do a lot of videos we do family videos uh there are hauls not just grocery hauls there's recipes there will be they're coming they are coming some vlogs as well uh, especially they're going to be some travel vlogs coming up when we go to visit my parents in uh, greece and generally there's quite a lot of content for you to enjoy so if this is kind of your thing then do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it and i hope to see you again very very soon so up until the next video toodles Let me know as well. Do you like this or do you think it's too much? I think I kind of like, like it, but I can't decide. I'm going to leave that for you to decide. Leave me something in the comments. Let me know. Is it a good one? Or should I just ditch it? <laughs> Bye.